Hidden away in southeastern Colorado lies a little-known unspoiled piece of wilderness full of surprises. Today we're exploring one of Colorado's best-kept secrets. Picket Wire Canyon along the Purgatory River is a blast to the past. So we too will go to the past. Then we'll explore this place from the ground and the air. A lot going on in this one, guys, so stay tuned. There's so many ways to So it was suggested that I should get out of the house more, get out of the studio, and do stuff in nature. So I've got my kids with me. We're gonna go see something that I've lived in Colorado all my life and did not know that this was down here. Apparently there are fossilized dinosaur footprints down here. Down in the middle of nowhere, Colorado. Um, and we're gonna go find them. We're gonna go see it's freaking nature today. And uh, you're coming along. And so are they. Peace. We're starting today's video by going back in time. It was nearly six years ago that we first came to this canyon in search of real deal, legitimate dinosaur tracks. This prehistoric masterpiece lies hidden deep within a canyon that's hidden deep within southeastern Colorado. And getting there is no small task. Is that recording trees? That's not a tree, that's a cactus tree. Or cactus. Far behind. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Ooh, cactus. Oh my god, it's just a cactus here. We see that almost every single day of our entire lives. It's all photoshopped, it's not real, though, I tell you. <laughs> we can get out for it. We got a five mile hike to get there. We're gonna be a little bit. <laughs> and, whew, Stop. I might lose a few pounds. From the trailhead, it's a five and a half mile hike to the dinosaur tracks which of course means a five and a half mile hike back. 11 miles, guys, and we were woefully unprepared for it. Pro tip, bring lots of water, because we didn't. We have a long way to go. It's a hiking type day. All of this was originally shot with the intention of just slapping something together and throwing it up on the channel way back in the day. Obviously, that never happened, but now, all these years later, this footage has finally found its purpose. Coming up on something here. No idea what it is. 1.7 miles to the dinosaur tracks. Some old, neat old headstones here. Oh, they dug one up, here's a coffin. This was a mission. Not much to it, was there? Wow. It's cray cray. It was 1899. Tonight we're gonna party like it's 1899. 1.7 miles to the dinosaur tracks. Are we still going? Yep. All right. We seem to have made this a mission. We're gonna get there. Because where it started out all like fun and games, we quickly all found out this ain't no joke. Walking five miles through this. Whew. Five miles back? We've already lost Brett. He went back to the car. He wasn't making it. <laughs> but we're gonna make it, damn it. We're gonna make it. I didn't know this was out here either. We have a fossilized shoulder blade of a, what did it say it was? Some kind of dinosaur. An apato, apatos, ap, 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 apatosaurus, apatosaurus, I think. Oh, it's a replica. So it's not even real. Son of a bitch, we made it. 0.2 miles. We can register. Wait, wait, wait. Is there something to. Because we didn't walk all this way for nothing. Oh, look. Watch there not be a pen. There's even a pen. <laughs> We got a sign that we made it. Oh, here, hold this. Okay, hold on. What is today? It's the 24th. Five, 24, 
It's a pretty remarkable feeling to get there. You've just hiked five and a half miles, and now you're about to see some stunning dinosaur tracks, right? Well, the whole experience was pretty cool, but sad to say there was a little bit of disappointment awaiting us down there. There. Yeah! Fossilized dinosaur tracks down here. What are we gonna see? <sighs> a little view here and there. They're kind of hard to see because there's a lot of mud. Oh, there's there's a good one. Oh, jeez. Right there. Look at these. There's another good one. There's another good one. Hell yeah. This is neat. All the rains have put a lot of mud over this. They're gonna have to come in here and brush it out. I wonder what's down there. Oh, let's just keep on exploring. Yeah, I bet there was a bunch in here that someone's gonna need to come in here and clear out all the mud. This is a shame. Well, as we've just discovered, Life is full of disappointments. This river is moving much, much, much too fast. With all the rain we've had lately, you can see that this is actually where you're probably supposed to cross over to there. But uh, yeah, unless we feel like drowning today, we're not going in there. Which is a bummer because there's right over there, there's a whole bunch more dinosaur tracks on the other side of the river. So sadly, the elements were working against us today. With all the dinosaur tracks covered with mud, you don't see many dinosaur tracks. But I'm really not complaining, the whole experience was amazing. And the best part is, it gives me reason to come back here. That's why I took you back to 2017, guys. I think it's time to revisit this canyon. Well, welcome back, everybody. September the 11th, 2022. And today, it's not a camping trip. Today is a scouting mission slash something I've been dying to do. Not a lot of people know about this place and I was there several years ago, four, maybe even five, six years ago. I don't know, it's been a long time. It's an 11 mile round trip hike, unless you know the shortcut. That's what I'm scouting for today. And if I find that shortcut, I'm going down to the dinosaur tracks. That's right, I'm back. It's time to give Picket Wire round two. And this time, I am in search of the alleged mystical shortcut to the dinosaur tracks. Using this shortcut cuts the hike down by more than half, which is very appetizing because that 11 mile hike was pretty brutal. But again, the trick is finding it because everything you find online is clear as mud about where exactly it is. Okay, so things are indeed getting a bit more sketch now because I just had to go and open a barbed wire gate. There was just some posts holding up some barbed wire. But according to the GPS, this is how you get to the place where it's the shortcut. I'm gonna go ahead and make the recommendation right now that if, if you don't have at least an SUV, kind of like what I got with some decent ground clearance, an all-wheel drive, do not come back here. If you come back here with like a Prius, you're gonna have a real bad day. Boy, I sure hope this wasn't a mistake. <laughs> Here's where the normal trailhead is. And way down here is where this mythical shortcut is supposed to be. Well, that kind of looks like it should be easy enough to find, right? I think I am here. Let me look at some GPS here. I may have found the spot. Let's just see where I am. I believe I am at the spot. I guess this is where I start hunting. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting it to be so buggy out here. I'm seeing a bit of a trail here. Canyon Rim. Where does it go down though? I don't see any trails. Oh, there's Dolores Mission down there. All right. Fantastic. How the hell do I get down there? 
Well, this sucks, because I'm still looking for the way down. I know it's around here, but even if I do find it now, I ain't going down. But, like I said, I'm not gonna make this a fruitless trip. I'm gonna find the way down there. And I'm probably gonna fly a drone too. Oh dear God, please don't let that be human. Well, I may not get to fly over dinosaur tracks today, but I'm going to get a drone flight in today, damn it. Because I am going to dare fly along these sheer cliffs. Good Lord, we're gonna see how that works out. This is my first daring flight. It's time to dispatch J-Force One. Say hello to my little friend. Today just turned into a fly your drone day. Really get some good uh, air time in. I'm literally just standing on the edge of a precipice over all this where somewhere way down there is where the dinosaur tracks are. If I crash this thing and it's down there somewhere, oh boy, am I ever going on an adventure to retrieve it. But so far, so good. Haven't had one loss of signal or anything. I guess you kind of got to test your metal as a drone pilot. I mean, you can't be always scarred. Got to be unscarred sometimes. And just be like, okay, I'm going for it. The bugs here are out of control. Well, finally climbed my ass out of there. No luck, not, e not even from the air did I find a suitable way down. I've had at least a half dozen people tell me there's a shortcut and it's somewhere around here. They'd always show me on Google Maps, it's here, it's here. I don't see the way down. Maybe a little more research is gonna have to go into this alleged shortcut. So what went wrong? I can tell you this much, I was close, I was so close. And after a bit more research, I can tell you exactly where I pooched it. I parked right here and immediately proceeded down this path of lies. I searched all over the place in this area looking for a way down. Nothing. Now here's where it gets heartbreaking. You're supposed to park here and proceed due south from there. And there it is, there's the trail. In fact, you can see the trail. Therefore, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Well, so no dinosaur tracks today. That's all right, the day was not wasted. I'll be making another attempt at the dinosaur tracks very soon. But on my way out, I ran across one more thing that this area is known for. Clearly the migration has begun, because where'd he go? There he is. There he is. Hey, big guy. What's she doing? Am I pissing you off? I touched a spooter. Yeah, yeah, he's getting a little defensive. Oh, he's mad. Okay, okay, I'll leave you alone. I just wanted to say hi. Yeah, every year around this time they begin a migration. Well, literally, there's like hundreds of them across the road. This is the first one I've seen in years. But yeah, you're cool, bro. You're cool, calm down. Hey, don't chase me. Yo, bro, why are you chasing me? Oh God, we're gonna do spiders now. Spiders it is. 
Well, hey guys, it's a late Saturday afternoon and we're off spider hunting again. That's right. It's, uh, what is it? It's only a week. It's only been a week since I was out there. I'm being joined once again by the Little Landers. They wanted to go on a spider hunt today. Initially, it was going to be a dual spider hunt and dinosaur tracks day. But they got little ones, and they're gonna have to find uh, a different way of going in to see the dinosaur tracks other than doing the hike. In the interim, right now, they just decided they was gonna come down here, and we're gonna get tacos and see spiders. Not necessarily in that order, but spiders and tacos. Pretty good day, right? Sounds like, sounds like, sounds great. All right, guys, in a case of impeccable timing, look who I found. I found the little landers. <laughs> They were coming over here because they wanted to hit the farmer's market, and I don't blame them. You don't come to the valley and not go to Knapp's farmer's market. I mean, only the freshest Rocky Ford melons and tomatoes and warded gourds and, and massive pumpkins. The spooder hunt is gonna begin shortly. Get over here, homie. Look at this guy, remember him? He's been, he's been in a few videos before. So uh, we're going spider hunting. Sounds like something that most people don't normally do, right? But uh, we're not normal, so. <laughs> Far from it. I was like, spiders and tacos, dude. You can't beat spiders and tacos. And she was like, you almost had me with the tacos part, but I could do without the spiders. Oh so. man, the spiders and tacos. Spiders you and say tacos. say together because it sounds like it's an entree and, and the appetizer. Isn't it though? I mean, where we are, the, the spiders are gonna be the, 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 the appetizer. Do you have hot sauce? Well, I, they do. Well, let's, get <laughs> let's get some hot sauce. So once again, I find myself out here in the nothingness. But this time, I'm in the company of good friends. Bryce, Amanda, and their boys from the Little Landers have joined me on a quest. We're hunting spiders, and not just any spiders. We're talking about the great tarantula migration that happens every year about this time. And since I'm using the term so much, let me be very clear. I use the word hunting as in we're looking for them. We're not actually planning to eat them. All right, I've returned to the same general area that I was last weekend where I came across all the tarantulas. And this weekend is a stark contrast from last weekend because uh, there's a lot of people out here. A lot of people out here and for the same reason. People are out here to come see the tarantula migration. Now there was a whole bunch of people parked by the highway and I don't know what they're thinking. The, the tarantulas are just gonna come to them. Uh, you gotta find the tarantulas. They're not gonna come to you. So that's what we're doing now is we are hunting tarantulas. As soon as we see one, it's a good bet you're gonna find more. So, look familiar? Should. We've all been here before. We seem to have found a spooder. Oh, he's a little one. Yeah, he don't like it. <laughs> oh, see, he's coming after you now. He's like, get out of here, North Sider. One of many that we will be finding this evening. And the hunt continues. Found another spooter. It's already past twilight. But I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna get all up in this spider's face with my Sony and see what kind of results we get there. This should be fun. As scary and menacing as they may look, they're actually quite docile. But still, make way, tarantula coming through. They're just another one of God's creatures trying to make their way through the world, man. Albeit on eight hairy legs, still one of God's creatures. And seeing them on the march like this is actually fascinating. But now that the day is turning into night, it's time for us to move on to the next leg of our adventure today. What was it? It was spiders and something. Spiders, spiders and tacos. Tacos. It's time to go get tacos. All right, it's getting a little dark, as you can tell. Uh, we got tacos on the brain now, so we're working our way back out of here, but I guarantee you if we see any more spiders. See, I knew it, I knew it. They said there was supposed to be between like 5.45 and 6.45. I'm like, no, I think it's gotta be a little darker. And all of a sudden, darkness arrives, and so do the spiders. What do you know? Anyway, tacos and beer coming up next. Sounds amazing. And much like the adventures we've had here, it was amazing. But not everything in life is meant for cameras, so this is the part where you just imagine a nice, hot plate of tacos. If you liked this video, let me remind you to go ahead and like and subscribe and click that little notification bell so you can get all the new stuff coming out. 
And until the next time, as always, safe travels, happy camping, and cheers. Cheers.